have a starlight tonight? I'm gonna sit back here until we find out. If one starts driving up. I am watching this stream, so it's a little delayed for me. I don't wanna hop in the server and uh Dave, do you want to just... Dave, could you share? Yeah. Well, like mine? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not, like, super delayed, to be honest. No, yeah, it's not. It's not bad. But, so, it'll be delayed for you, and then it'll, you'll be able to talk, and then it'll be delayed again. Mm. I mean... Oh, well. It is what it is. But if Dave can stream... Yeah. Hang on. After I do my run, I'll jump in on monitor and I'll stream it, and then I'll just stream it the rest of the night. Work. Yeah, there we go, dude. Perfect. waiting for me or if they're working on it. Bro, right? Tyler was following it around earlier. Yeah. It'd be funny if you could just latch onto it and just go wherever it goes. Alright, hey, no start light tonight. Um, okay. But they are ready. So right, whenever cool. you are good to go. Alright, let's get this thing underway. Why does my wheel go really light? Okay, no, that's good. Let's go to the Battle 52 qualifying run. Right now we have Aaron up first and BMW. We're gonna do two qualifying runs. Right here, they can drive us into 30 miles an hour in that first. Side clip. Drivers want to make sure they're carrying the speed through here. Touch and go and last out of the So we're going to wait and see what the drivers. Oh, sorry, but the uh, judges have a support for that first round. So we got a 74 on that one. Very nice. 74. Conservative. Uh, just get deeper. You missed outer zone one pretty much completely. Uh, so better entry and uh, deeper on the walls, and you'll be good. Right, so judges scored that first one at 74. Let's see how he does on the second one. Here. He does a little more. Conservative or pushes it for a better score. Initiation, I'm sure. A little wide on that first side of zone. Right, clip on the outside zone. Committed. Ooh, and unfortunately, that probably ended there. Looks like I'll be coming home tonight with a 74 for the final run. Four it is. Alrighty. Dave, you're uh, pretty good at this. Hey, am I? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs>
Who is that? I don't know. All right, it's a new driver from last. He's not here. It should be UP. I'll go on a number. All right, so we do have a, a next driver is not here, so we're gonna go ahead and jump down the bracket to the next driver, which is UP Drift. So UP Drift's gonna be coming up next. Driving a G35 sedan. It's one of the couple four doors that we have here in the series. Very tight technical track. Unfortunately, the, the four doors are going to be struggling on this one. Ooh. Man, when the judges tell you you didn't send it enough, so you send it extra? Yeah, you sent it pretty a little too hard there. The extra yeah. little hard. And that initiation's tricky to... I'm either a little shallow or too deep, and then it just completely throws me off for the whole run. Yeah, it's a pretty tricky tricky one to, um, to judge, it seems. Yeah. There we go. UP right. Drift looking to beat a 74 off the first run of Aaron. Top. Again, 30 miles an hour, just rolling through here. Just make sure the other driver isn't left. And then, good flick initiation. That was a good fill of outer zone one. So they're going to outer zone two here and see how close he gets to the wall. That looked like a pretty good wall ride. Get in a clip. Very good film. Coming through for that touch and go in that last powder zone. All the way in, bringing it in. All right. Solid first good run. run. You drift. Very, Very good first run. Wait to see what the uh, judges have to say. Oh, all right, he's gonna go. He ain't got no. He doesn't need no score. No, he's comfortable with that first one. He says, I'm going to go for the second. Okay. Good flick initiation. Could be a little Hold bit out. deeper in that first outer zone. He's committed. Oh. A little too committed. All right, well, he has till next Tuesday. Fix that car. <laughs> Yeah, that first run was pretty good. Uh, looks like he filled all the outer zones. Had some good proximity to that first wall. Comfortable and committed. Sounds like a judge just joined. No, that was me. I shared. Uh, huh. Playing with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Digging all the new cars that are coming out. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's getting new cars. Tired of the old ones. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, it's been, if you've been with us since the beginning, it's been, what, six months? So if you're still driving your original car from the very beginning, it's about time for a new one. Yeah, it's time for a new one. Only Sneeze Master, right? Yeah. Flat. Sneeze yeah, Master Sneeze Master and Flat, flat might be the and, only two left. And with the way the used car market is right now, who could say no to a new car? Yeah, right? you know. When you feel like spending your entire 401k for a new car. All right, so we've got a 75 on that one. Ooh, Ooh just <laughs> beating out there. It was a good run, a good entry. Uh, only deductions were those two corrections where you tap the wall and then going into the last out. had a little bit of correction. If it wasn't for those, he'd be in the mid 80s. Uh, that's why we gave him a 75. All righty. Cool, a 75. He's now leading. All, both of us. All two drivers. <laughs> All two drivers that have qualified. He is now leading. All right, next up we got Transcendence. Yeah, pretty consistent driver. We're gonna see what score he can put down. Yeah, so he's only, been, he's been with us for three rounds now? Where's the third one? Where's the first one? Right. Is it right? Yep, I think this is three or this might be four. I don't even know how long ago Abyssu was. Feels like forever ago. It does. Transcendence is a really quality driver, though. He's very consistent. Absolutely. He won two rounds ago? I think, didn't he win Atlanta? He did. Yeah? Yep, he did one. All right, we can see him pulling out on the track right here. Thank 
Creative Garage S13. Outside zone on the throttle all the way through those outside zones. Inner clip. Good proximity to that last outside zone. Right. Could it run. Was a little, little off the wall at the beginning of the last outer zone, but kind of fell into it and finished off mm -hmm. pretty strong. I'm going to go with this. 77. Oh, oh man. I think he's going to get a little bit higher than that. I'm gonna go I think he'll be in the 80s. 80s. Yeah. 80s? Yeah, yeah, I think he'll be in the 80s. It was a very consistent, smooth run. He's got a really good angle. He's a pretty stylish driver. I think that'll help him. Got 83 on that run. Ooh, 83. Nice. Very nice. Good run. Good, good first run. That place is... Missed a couple zones. Uh, not zones, but missed a couple things. A couple corrections, but overall pretty good. Yep, very solid run. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Alright, let's see if he can beat an 83. Climbs to the top at 83. Let's see if he can be the first driver to put down two runs. That's definitely for me in the 90s. That was a really good run. Yeah, absolutely. Not a whole lot I'd be knocking points off for that. Definitely one of the most consistent drivers that we have in the series. Most definitely. All right, so we have a new leader with a 93. There we go. Very nice run. All righty. All right, we do not have Kyle here tonight. So we are moving on to Sneeze Master. Somebody's car over there is in gear, I can hear it. <laughs> Dave's over here breaking things. Yeah. Someone's also rev bombing their car. It's just me. Oh, it's me with the drone. Oh, that's funny. Hey, uh, is Ruffle here tonight? Oh, he. That's why he wanted to talk to me. He had a family. So after Sneeze Master is going to be Giant Dad. Yep. All right, we got Sneeze Master on the line. From the original, the OG BMW. We got an OG driver and an OG car. Going for a pretty good flick entry. Pretty shallow on outer one. Good inner clip. Little low angle, but got it. Good out of two. Yeah, it looks like right now he's just going for points with my gut. Yeah. Sure he's on the board. Looks a little conservative, not going to be a super high scoring run, but it's definitely going to get him points. That's what he did. Alrighty, that'll get him some points. He is a very capable driver. We will see what he comes back with in run two. One of our more consistent drivers, he's won several events. Uh, comes out swinging for run number two. 
Yeah, absolutely. I know during practice he said he was struggling a little bit with the track. I yeah, think I think he didn't practice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, UP. Here you go. How's it going? Good. Come to hang out? You want to talk about your run? Uh, no, I didn't realize. Oh, I did. I wasn't coming here. I just wanted to watch that live stream. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> gotcha. 65 on that run. 65. All right. We thought it was a little conservative. 65. So that puts him at least on the board right now. Yep. He shows for the next run here. Second run. Points on the board is better than nothing. Alrighty. I thought we were gonna get a driver interview there. I was excited. But anyway, he was like, "Nope, I'm out." <laughs> I took your interview. <laughs> I'll come back. I'll come back for a driver interview. All right. Alrighty. Here Alright, let's see if he gets a little more stylish, a little more consistent. I was watching Sneeze a little bit of practice and he looked like he was struggling a little bit with his track. Let's see how he uh, shows up next week though. He's a very yeah. consistent driver. Yeah, absolutely. You give him like a half an hour on a track and he'll be laying down solid uh, I like think the one, second run is quite a bit better as well. Yeah, yeah. Really went a little, little deep and out of one at the, towards the end of it, but overall a much cleaner mm -hmm. run, a little more stylish. Looks like you put a little more into it. Much better yeah. run. I think it'll definitely be a higher than a 65. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I'm guessing 70s. Yeah, I think he'll be in the 70s. I think dropping two tires and out of one, that'll hurt. Otherwise, though, the run was pretty solid after that. Alright, so we've got a 77 on that run. It was uh, pretty solid, just a couple tires of water places. Uh, other than a little minor correction to the tires off. Perfect, thank you. Alright, we got giant dabs. Giant no, dabs? We, we have flat. Oh. Flat four. Oh. Yeah, we have flat four. Another OG driving an OG car. Time to get him a new car. I think he's working yep. on one though. Yep, he is. Yeah. He tried to drive it a couple weeks back. If that's still the same car he's trying to trying to run, just still needed some work. Alrighty, Let's see what Flat Four's got. He also showed up with zero practice before today, so he's uh, trying to push pretty hard to learn the track. He's going for a big flick injury. Big angle. I'd like to see him a little deeper in that first outside zone though. Yeah, pretty shallow on outer one, but he can hold that wall ride. Oh. Alright. Okay. Not bad. Coming around. Two guys can pull, pull the rest of it together. Gave that wall a little bit too much of a tap, kind of sucked him in. Yeah. Otherwise, if you ignored that, not a bad run. Definitely would have put points on the board, but we'll see what he's got for run number two. That's well, another driver uh, with us for a while. Yep, I think he's uh, been with us since we expanded. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have a zero. Yep, that wall hit sucked him in. Yes, sir. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Alrighty, so we got a zero on run one. Let's see what he can do on run two. The man qualified third in the last round. So he's definitely got it. He's just got to dig deep and find it. Hopefully that uh, score doesn't mess with him mentally too bad. Ooh, oh, went for too much of a big, big flick. Trying to get oh. all of his power points. I think I saw a snap to die rod. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back, big stick. Get it ready for next week. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to come back when you, when you put down a zero first. Because then you feel all that pressure to get the points up. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to be able to show that. Alrighty, let's 
sir. Alright, we got a dude named Dave. Oh. Watts out here trying to go for 360 entries while we wait for Dave to load in. <laughs> Alright, we got Dave coming out in a pretty new car. Debuted it last round. Maybe David, not the. Those very consistent drivers, but surprisingly, is yet to secure a win. I know, from one of the most consistent drivers in the group, he just seems to have a feat of bad luck. Yeah, he is uh, was a second event in his new car, so maybe yep. he's working out the kinks. Uh, maybe this week will be his his week. Well, next week. Maybe next week will be his week. He uh, secured fourth place last round in, in the debut of the new car, so that's a pretty good sign. Yeah, he does consistently stay uh, towards the top if not podium. Um, yeah. He just hasn't gotten all the way there yet. But he's no. always in the fight. He's always a driver to be scared of. Alright, here we come in the giant C35. Coming down the straight to initiation to the 3 2 one Pretty good flick. Solid filling out his own one. Drop the tire. Good inner clip. A little shallow at the initiation of the wall, but it looks like he dug deep into it. Good inner clip there. A little shallow on outer zone three, but a good inner clip following. DC throws it back into the wall. Oh, good run though. Good overall run. I think that'll put him somewhere in the 70s. That's a good starting place. Yeah, that's what I think too. I think we're going to see him in 70s score. Yep. A little too deep in the uh, first outside zone, dropping a couple tires, and then uh, a couple corrections here and there. He looks like he took out that second third inner clip. Um, looks like he took that cone out. So. Yep. Yep. That'll get points up though. That so far will put him right in on the middle of the pack. We'll see how the rest of the group does, but it's not a bad place to be. Let's see what he throws down for run number two. All right, so we've got a 73 on that one. Uh, we had uh, two separate one-tire offs in two separate places. Uh, so there's going to be deductions there, a couple corrections, uh, but overall just a little bit choppy. Let's see a little smoother run. All righty, perfect. Thank you. All right, we got a 73 for run number one. Let's see if he can improve upon that for run number two. 73 puts you in a pretty good spot, though, middle of the pack. Gives you something to improve on, but something that hopefully is not too bad if you end up with it. Should make you comfortable enough. You can send it on run number two, and if you go flying off track or into a wall, you at least got a good a good run in. That's my philosophy, at least. Get points up, and then just go full send. Send it into the wall. And if you go flying off outer zone one or into a wall, oh well, you got points on the board. You're not at the bottom. All right, here we go for run number two. Big initiation. Really filling that first cut side down. Good inner clip. A little bit deeper into that second outside zone against the wall. I like to see him a little deeper in that inner clip. And finishing up with this outside zone against the wall right here. Solid run, I think he's gonna improve off of it. I think we're gonna see mid to high 80s. Yep, I think he'll improve from a 73, but I don't think he takes the lead, but I think that he came out a little angry about a 73. Definitely uh, threw down a little bit better of a run. So next up, we're going to have Nate Graham. Very, very consistent driver. Um, always seems to be taking home the win, if not podium. Uh, he is always up there. He is definitely one of the OGs. All right, so we've got 87 on that run. 87. Run overall, a couple minor things we'd like to see a little better, but overall it's a very solid run. Alrighty. Nice. Can't be mad about an 87. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, 
right, Nick Graham coming out, debuting a new car, E30, finally getting out of that land yacht of the WRX, and into an E30. Well, he went full send on this one. It looks real good. This was a huge step up for him from that WRX. Yeah, I'd like to see how he uh, how he drives this car. He was very consistent in that uh, boat of a WRX. So. He is a very smooth, consistent driver. <laughs> he looks pretty good in practice. So. Oh, yep, he's been having a great time playing with the new Custom Shaders patch update. Just wait for him to dab on you here in a minute. Alright, let's see what he's got. He can drift with the finger out the window, that's gonna absolutely get him some extra style points. That's gotta be max out style points. Oh, big initiation. Looks like he's at a gender reveal party with that red smoke. <laughs> Are we at a street takeover? Are we at a sanctioned event? I think that was a pretty good run. I think that'll put him somewhere in the 80s. I think outer one was perfect, but I think he was a little shallow in a couple other places, but overall I think it was a really good run. Yeah, I think we're gonna see high 70s, 78, 79, maybe low 80s. Yeah. He's got two NOS bottles in the back and butterfly doors. <laughs> he popped the doors in the hood. <laughs> Solid first score for the 79. <laughs> yeah, he uh, definitely went from a very bland WRX that did the job. He definitely won several rounds in it, but he uh, definitely found quite an upgrade in there. Looks very good. No kidding. Alrighty, here we go. So a little shallow on outer one, a little out on inner clip two. Good wall ride coming in inner clip three was good. There we go. See how he finishes out here. Yeah, intimidating wall at the end. A little shallow. It was a good run overall. He might improve, but I think he's going to stick around the same points as run one. Maybe bump into the 80s. And a, and a finger out the, out the window. And That's how he fun. feels about those runs. There we go. He said, I put points up on both runs. Check out what's under the hood. <laughs> That's probably his first few. Yeah, it was a very last minute getting the car done. Alright, 84. Does he get extra style points for doing donuts at the end with his hood popped and doors up? <laughs> I actually did not see that being so far up in the sky here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll add a half a point onto that. 84 and a half. 84 and a half, sure. Alright, thank you. Have a good <laughs> Alright, so we got a drowning turtle in his extremely loud LS 350D. Wait for him to get all set up and situated here. If you're interested right. in driving with us, you can go ahead and head over to Battle 52's Facebook page and send us a message. We'll get you the application to fill out. We're currently full on driver slots, but we have openings come up fairly regularly. So if we ever have an opening, we reach back out to the drivers uh, that are interested and we let them know we've got an opening and then we... Uh, make a selection from the entries we have to add a driver into the competition. There's also a first come first serve, so we go down the list. Yep, we'll go down the list from all the applications and if you've been waiting for two months, you get first priority if you want the spot or not. So 
so while we're on that subject, we're still waiting. So why don't why don't you just open it up to everybody? Uh, so the main reason we don't open it up to everybody is we don't want these events to take four hours. We don't really want to have 200 drivers we're trying to manage. We want to keep this a very small uh, family feeling competition where all the drivers know each other, they're comfortable with each other, they can get on a drive every night and know and feel comfortable with the guys that they're driving with. Um, and we feel like if we get into a competition with 200 plus drivers because we just opened it up to the world, that it's going to get very unmanageable and things can get out of hand really quickly. We want to keep it as consistent and as good competition as possible. Okay, great. Alright, so we got Johnny Turtle, one of his first run here through the closeout. Good, out of control. Make a little saddle on this second outer zone. A little conservative on the wall. A little late getting into the wall on out on the last outer zone, but he ended up getting in there and had probably filled half of it. Not a bad run though. I think that'll get him in the 70s. It's not a bad starting place. Yeah, absolutely. Mr. Drowning Turtle is the definition of an OG in Battle 52. He was part of Battle 52 before Battle 52 was Battle 52. He's one of the founding members and uh, a big part of what we're doing here. Absolutely. One of the uh, the more advanced personnel that we have when deals comes to dealing with cars as well. Alright, most definitely. 81 on that run. An 81, not a bad run. Solid first run. Alright, let's see what he can improve upon on an 81. Get him back up here to the start line here in a second. And 81's not a bad place, even if uh, that's what he ends up with. Oh. Ooh, technical difficulties, maybe? Headset? I know he's having headset issues. Yeah, he's been having Oculus issues tonight. Yep. <coughs> See he says, maybe we can get him in here for an interview. Let's see what happened there. Oh, there we go. He's back. Okay. <coughs> This track is deceivingly technical. Oh, when is. I first saw the track map of it, I was like, oh, that's a pretty long run up. But man, you come out of that corner to initiation, it's really fast. It comes up on you really quick. It's really easy to overshoot outer zone one because you feel like you need more of a run up to get where you going to be. It comes up real quick. Yeah, my trouble staying on the track because the track's so small. I got that long boat. Yeah. Yeah, you debuted a huge tank of a car that did really well last week taking fourth place. You can't complain about that, but this track's a little difficult when you're in one of those bigger cars. Yeah, absolutely. So we got Tyler coming up. We're driving for coming up. See if we close down. Second round. Big initiation. Really good fill outer one, really good inner clip one. A lot better get into the wall there. A lot less conservative. All right. Let's see how he finishes it off. Much better. He's definitely going to improve upon from an 81. I think that's going to be. A, I think that'll put him low 80s, maybe high night or mid 90s. That was a really good run. I think he's got a chance of taking transcendence out for the number one spot, but I think that'll definitely put him up there. All righty. We have a score on that one, and we are going to go with. Ooh, 85, so that should very put him in about solid. third. Yes, sir. Very solid. Uh, just like to see a little closer up on the walls, uh, especially in that last outer zone. If you get a little closer there, we're definitely going to 90. So, All righty. Excellent. All right, we got Nick Stacy. Nick Stacy is definitely, I think, probably our most stylish driver. Definitely throws the most angle in at every opportunity he can. Yeah, absolutely. Battle 52 is sponsored by Camus uh, Direct Drive Wheels and Accessories. So if you head over to Camus, you can use our coupon code 
get you a little discount, Battle 52 coupon. Man, car was really fighting me that that uh that run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't complain. You put up an 81 and an 85. Those are pretty solid runs. Yeah, that first run, uh, entry felt really good. Car felt good. Um, going into that first wall, though, the car just didn't want to make it out there for some reason after that inner clip. Uh, I just wanted to hold where it was. And it wasn't wanting to add angle, and didn't want to. I didn't want to take away any angle because I didn't want to straighten. So, yeah. just kind of accept it improve upon it. You did exactly that. You definitely improved. Yeah, absolutely. Very solid run. Alright, here we go. We got Nick Stacy coming out. Driving the prelude. Drift loop. A little excessive there, but definitely a Nick Stacy style entry with a huge flick. Just a little deeper than you probably would have wanted to be there. Great proximity on the wall. Overall, a very solid run. He ignored outer one. That was a really good run. Outer one kind of got him. We'll see if that <coughs> was enough to zero him out or not. Unfortunately, it was enough to zero him out. Ooh. Outer one's tricky. Yep. Four tires off, unfortunately. Alrighty. See what he can do in round number two. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, so the entire run was fantastic. Probably would have been a high 80 run if it wasn't for outer one. That it's big flick entry will work for you. You just got to do it a lot, or a lot earlier, which is the yeah. hard part on this track. Entry makes it or breaks it. You know, it's like hits some cones, but it'll be So it seems to be a driver that's very calm and collective, so I don't really see it bothering me too much. I think he's in the, I would say, top five of our drivers. He's a very consistent driver. He's won a couple rounds. Here we go with another big flick. Uh, oh, there it is. Yep. Very good. Good wall ride. He's all the way in there. Good inner clip, good outer zone, good inner clip. Let's see how he finishes it out. Right up against that wall. So that was that was a really good run. I think that might have been the best run of the night. We're going to see if the judges agree. But if they do, I think we've got a new number one overall qualifier. There I think go. that you was a very solid run. You want to drive like Nick Stacy? Go over the canvas. Yep. If you want to, you want to drive like Nick Stacy. Go use that discount code, battle52 at camus.com. If you're feeling tired, we've got a discount code for Rogue Energy also. Battle52, Rogue Energy, get yourself 10% off. Alright. Unbelievable run. Right. Right. We're going to go ahead and give a 96 to that. 96? I had a feeling yeah. that was going to take over first place. That was an amazing run. Yep, Nick Stacy didn't come come to play tonight. All right, we got Battle E46. We'll see if he can come out swinging top of 96. And Battle E46 rocking an S13. Newer drivers, but he's shown that he belongs here. He uh, hung in last week, took second place last week, so he definitely came to party. Let's see what he does tonight. All right, coming into the 3 2 1 initiation. A little deep. Uh, like four tires. Zero. Yeah, it looked like zero for me. Yeah, I was four tires. Get a little bit of a practice run for the rest of it. Yep, absolutely. Might as well take advantage of it. Great looking at the car. Overall, a pretty good run if the ignored outer one. Unfortunately, we have a zero on that run. 
Yeah. Build initiation. Thank you. Alrighty, let's see if we can improve upon a zero. Taking much to improve upon a zero, so I think we'll uh, be able to see some sort of improvement. <laughs> is this the trend? Is this how you, uh, you qualify super high? It's yeah, this is how you qualify zero. Zero. You zero the first run. Yep. yep. Go off on Adder's all the pressure. Feel the, the rest pressure on. There it is. Oh. Oh, we'll see if he do the same thing as Nick Stacy. Coming out swinging. Big entry. No one that was right. outside zone. Remember against that wall. Oh, it was like a tap. tap. Oh, oh no. no. The second, the second tap ate him up. Yep. Looks like he towed back to pits. Yep. <laughs> it looks like we have a double sale. Alrighty. Man, it was looking good until that wall. Was that wall got him. That wall eats you up. All right, so we got our winner from last round, Blastoise, coming up. New car. Yeah. New car, new driver, came out swinging in his yeah. second round ever, took the win. New car, looking like Taylor Ray out there with that Corvette. Yeah. Very small car. In the party. Small cockpit, huge car. God, he was throwing huge entries in practice. Let's see what he does. Yeah, I was chasing him last night. He was, uh, he had some good laps, so we'll see how we bring that over to qualifying. They're ready to mess stuff up. Here we go. Good flick. A little shallow on outer one. A little That's out on one. Very nice wall. Very close to that wall, though. Yeah. Uh, kind of shallowed out towards the end of it. Oh, he finishes it out here. Big angle. Big, big angle. The I end. think we're going to see maybe... I say high 70s, maybe, maybe into the 80s. A couple things that needed to be improved on, but... Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good base to start with. I think it'll put him in the 70s, I do agree. High 70s, probably. Uh, got a good start. All right, so we got a 74 on that one. Overall, just like see a little deeper. There's a little more balls on that run. Maybe a higher score. All righty. Let's see what he throws down for run number two. A 74 is not bad to build off of, but it definitely puts you kind of in the middle of the pack, so we'll see if he can come out and get it. Put himself a little higher in the bracket. Here we go. Still a little shallow on the first outside zone. Oh, oh he got the concrete. Demolished himself on the concrete tires. And that's the end of that. That. Debuted it and destroyed it. <laughs> Gone. Be going home with a 74. Yep, he will be going home with a 74. And I believe that concludes uh, qualifying for tonight. That does. We are wrapped up with qualifying. We had uh, number one overall qualifier is Dick Stacy. Number two with a 93 is Transcendence. And number three. Three would be dude named Dave with an 87. Hey, hey very nice. Yep. Very good overall runs. I think we saw some good driving tonight. Should create some really good battles for next week. Yeah, they got a whole another week to practice. So uh, I think uh, I think by next Tuesday we're gonna really see really see some good battles. See some of those drivers that maybe didn't qualify as good tonight come out next week and surprise you. Qualifying scores doesn't mean everything. Uh, so. No, absolutely. Alrighty, we will be back next Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern for the battles.